high upper body, we will use DIA for calculator and start crunch for hypothesis testing. Uh, first, we have the test of the population proportion is less than 0 0.2 and with the following information. Right. So first, if we use start crunch, go to stat and proportion statistic, proportion stat of one sample with summary. So the number of success are 95 individual with some certain characteristic out of 500. And this is hypothesis that uh, P less than 0 0.2. So first we enter 0 0.2 for the no hypothesis. Alternative hypothesis, we're going to choose less than. That is very important. We have to specify that. So, And that's all we have here. And the uh, alpha actually 0 0.02. So that's the information we have, right? Compute. Sorry. Should be only one decimal point. All right. So we have the p values of 0 0.2881. It's bigger than alpha, so we do not reject the no hypothesis. Now, if we use the TI 84 calculator, we start go to test, and we look for the test. So those are the tests. We test for the population proportion, so we choose this option. And first, it is less than 0 0.2, so we choose less than 0 0.2. And x of 95, uh, n is 500, and we calculate. And as you see, we have the same p values of 0 0.2881, which is the same as what we have on stack range. Next, we have the problem for testing hypothesis for the population mean. If you're using stat crunch, it will be under the T stat. The T stat, for example, for the population mean, and one sample with summary. Right. So we enter the information for the sample. The mean equal to 21, standard deviation of 2, and the sample size of 28. And we test the hypothesis that the mean is not equal to 20. So we enter 20, and that is not equal to, and the alpha is 0 0.05. So I, I will not change anything. If I want to change, I will change the alpha values. And we compute. And we have the p values of 0 0.0134. That is less than alpha of 0 0.05. So we reject the no hypothesis. All right. On TI-84 calculator, it's that. Go to test, and we will test. For the population mean, we're going to use the t-test. And this is the mean not equal to 20, not equal to and we choose 20 and the uh, sample has the mean equal to 21 the standard deviation of 2 and the sample size of 28 and we compute or calculate and we have the p-values of 0 0.134 which is the same as what we have on start crunch thank you for watching